Right now, I'm basically going to explain how I did this step by step. So I have this pretty cool graphic here to explain what's going on. So first of all, uh, right now, I'm trying to reach out to marketing agencies, essentially. So I was like, okay, I'm going to go on, you, on Google and I'm going to search for like the best marketing agencies in the US. So anyways, I found uh, clutch.co, which is a very popular website for, you know, service based businesses. So I was like, okay, I'm going to go there. I'm going to find the people there and I'm going to scrape the data with data scraper. I'm going to show you basically how it works. So I went here, I started looking at, you know, all these different agencies. And basically what I did is I used instant data scraper to scrape the websites instead of having to do it manually. So I can do a little tutorial. A little demonstration here so you can see what I'm talking about. So for example, you just come here. This is just a Google Chrome extension that you can download for free. So you just click here, start clawing. And as you can see, it's just gonna start like, you know, basically scraping all these different websites. You can see here we have 400 rows. Okay, we don't need that many. So yeah, you can just download this as a CSV and then get all the websites. So as you can see here, you can, you, we have the company name and then somewhere around here, you're going to find the website. Okay. So here you have this column is basically the websites. Some of the agencies don't have a website, but most do. So there you can find that. So basically what I did after that, you know, I found the companies that I wanted to reach out to. I used instant data scraper to scrape a lot more than 30, you know, I scraped like a bunch, like a couple hundred or a thousand just to like get, get a lot of them and find the, the good ones that I wanted to reach out to. And then we have the websites, right? But we obviously don't have the contact information yet. We don't have any emails or any people that we can reach out to. So that's when listkit.io comes into play, right? So I basically took that. You know, I went through the companies, found the ones that I wanted to reach out to, got the websites. And as you can see, I had to get more than 30 because for some of them, I couldn't find the contact information or whatever. That's very common. So we have all these websites. So what you can do is basically just copy paste this into a tool like listkit.io, for example, and you just go in here, like include companies, you paste this in here. And you're going to get all the results of all the people who work for these companies. As you can see, there's 1.5 thousand people. Now, these are just like all the different job positions. So as you can see, you have paid media, virtual assistant, graphic designer, manager. We don't want um, just to reach out to random people. We want to reach out to specific job titles. So owner, CEO, etc. So we can just go here into people click on job title and this is very simple. We're just going to put like founder, CEO, owner, CMO, uh, head of marketing. I think this, these are the ones that I put in. So as you can see, it's going to find some more people. Okay. So it's only 27 people for this particular list. So yeah, anyway, I had to export two lists as you can see. So I'm going to show you basically, this is the first one that I exported. So it's like 23 people. And then I had to add more on top of that because there was not enough. So I export another list with 20 more people. So now I have more than more than 30 now, <laughs> essentially. So basically what, what list is going to give you is, you know, the name, the first name, last name, company website, and their email, which is the most important thing, because this is what the email address that we're going to be reaching out to. So what I basically did is the following. I created a little <laughs> Google sheet as a CRM, basically to basically just keep everything organized as I'm going to start reaching out to these people. Now I did blur out, I put the name and the emails on, you know, black, because I don't want to dox anyone <laughs> on this thing. But yeah, as you can see, I have 44 
contacts here. And as I start reaching out to these people, I'm just going to say like, okay, email on the 22nd of March. And I'll just keep track. I just keep track of when I email them and then these are the follow-ups. So then maybe I'll, I'll send them another email on the 25th. And then this way I can keep track of all the follow-ups. And it's funny because the first time that I started my freelancing career, if you will, uh, the first time that I started getting clients, this is kind of like the exact same system that I used. I had a CRM in Google Sheets and I would just keep track of everyone. Like, oh, I reached out to this person. And for example, the people that I reached out to, I would mark in yellow. And then if they wasn't interested, I would put them in red. I'm like, okay, not interested. And then if I close the deal, I would put them in green. And I think, I think if they gave me like a positive reply, I would put them in like orange. So I had like a little color code. So yeah, we're going to be using this, as you can see. But yeah, let me delete this real quick. So yeah, as you can see here, we have the two different sheets that I had to export. Because the first one didn't give me enough contacts. But that's basically it. You can also use Apollo. I was testing out Apollo here, but... I have Liskit, so shout out to Liskit as well. Let me see something. Okay. This is the system, just a little recap real quick. First, clutch.co, which is the website with all the different agencies. We scrape that with Instant Data Scraper, which is this extension. Then we got the contact information from Liskit, and then we're going to do manual outreach. But yeah, this is basically the summary. I hope everything was clear. I hope this was valuable for someone, maybe. So yeah, see you in the next videos.